At the High Level Political Forum in New York next week, it's a chance for different countries to share their experiences in fighting poverty. Poverty in all its forms and dimensions, which includes monetary poverty by national definitions and by the $1.90 a day measure of extreme income poverty. But it also includes other dimensions of poverty, other dimensions which are SDG indicators of themselves, but because they are interconnected one with another, they come into a framework of multidimensional poverty. And OFI have the privilege of being in contact with many countries that are developing, reporting, and using multidimensional measures to reflect <clears throat> their own definitions of poverty and to use these as policy tools um, for coordination, for assigning resources to the regions and the sectors most in need, uh, for targeting the most vulnerable, most poor populations, for tracking poverty over time in a disaggregated way, to make sure nobody's left behind, whether that's a region, whether that's an ethnic group, whether that's people with disabilities, whether that's children or women. So um, it'll be a fascinating time because it's the first time that I know of where there's been such an open discussion about poverty, both monetary and multidimensional in the same framework. Last year in 2016, according to the Global Multidimensional Poverty Index, uh, 1.6 billion people lived in acute multidimensional poverty um, made up of overlapping deprivations in health, education and living standards. And that global MPI is useful for two primary reasons. The first is that many countries at this point have not yet developed a national MPI with their own definitions, but they still find the global MPI particularly useful because it's available nationally and subnationally, and because it resonates with quite acute definitions of poverty in, in regions that have high incidences of these. But the other reason that the global MPI is useful, even in other contexts of lower income, uh, lower poverty countries, is that it's comparable across countries, and so the target of cutting multidimensional poverty by half makes sense. I'm really looking forward to hearing all of the different inter interchanges and particularly um, on the 10th of July in session three on addressing the multiple dimensions of poverty and inequalities. I think having these conversations is really a chance to learn and to re reposition ourselves to really make sure that we address what is most of interest to countries at this important point in time and in the context of the Sustainable Development Goals.